What is going on, you guys? It is Erock here, Mr. Erock, whatever you feel like calling me, bringing you guys another video. Uh, today's video, I'm going to be going over um, the my stream settings for the new Envic update that just came out, like a la like last week or two weeks ago, maybe whatever it was. I think it was last week. Um, so yeah, there's a new OBS update, not Streamlabs OBS, OBS Studio. Um, if you don't know if you have the update, just uh, let me go to my computer screen here. Let me bring over. I'm recording, so this is going to look really weird. Um, just go to help and then go to check for updates here. And then if you have an update, great. If not, just go to just go on Google and type in OBS and then re-download the newest one that's up there. The update will be in there. So yeah, I'm going to go over my settings and everything for this. So we're going to bring up settings. Um, so I'm not going to show you my stream key because y'all are thieves. But so like you see here, I'm, I'm recording so I can't switch this. But you can see it says NVIDIA NVEC H.264 uh, and then in parentheses it says new. So you know you're on the right one if you click that. Um, you'll be able to see that you can't click like rescale output or anything anymore. So basically what this update did was it tremendously helped CPU usage while streaming and recording and whatnot. Cause I used to use X264. Um, I saw this update. I saw it put a lot of help in the CPU usage, tried it out. And now when I stream, I only use about 9%. I was usually around like 25 to 30. Um, but yeah. And before I go into all these settings and explain everything, I'm going to show you what my computer like what I have in my computer so it's not like I have the most beast computer in the world with like a 2080 Ti or whatever so just so you guys can see what my computer has in it um, I have an Intel Core i7 6700 CPU at 3.40 with four cores I don't know what any all this stuff means um, I have 16 gigs of RAM. So yeah, that's the kind of computer I'm using. It's a, I also have a 1060 graphics card. So yeah, that's the computer I'm using. Um, and that's why these settings work really good for me. So uh, rate control, I have at CBR. Bitrate is all dependent on your internet. So if you have a internet bitrate of like 10 upload, um, you can get away with like 5,000, 6,000. What you want to have your bit rate at is like halfway of the number of what your upload speed is. Um, I don't know. That's like the best way I can explain it. If you, <coughs> if you only have like a three or four upload, then I would put this down to like 2,000 or something, maybe even lower. But if you have like five or over, you can get away with like anywhere between three and 5,000 bit rate. Um, keyframe interval have two. Your preset, um, you can have this at max quality if you want the best quality possible. You can have this at max performance if you want the best performance possible. Um, I leave mine right at quality um, just because I like quality, but I don't want it to influence my game too, too much, you know? So there's that profile I leave at main. I've seen people have this on high, but having it on main has worked really well for me. Um, so yeah, I don't have these two checked. I don't really know what they do. I've not really played with it. Probably should have, but oh well. Um, <clears throat> these two things I just left at zero and two. As far as the video, um, yeah, base canvas is 1920 by 1080. I can't change it because I'm recording this like I've said already. Um, the rescale output for recording, you could probably leave this at 1920 by 1080 when you're streaming. I think it's best just to have this at 1280 by 720. If you're not even a Twitch affiliate, you shouldn't even be streaming over 3000 bitrate because if you're not even an affiliate, then I don't think it's going to give people the option to even scale up your streams or anything. <clears throat> I think that's how it goes. So yeah. And then downscale filter, I have at Lanzos sharpening, uh, common FPS at 60. Um, and then under the advanced, for the general, the process priority, I think this is normally at either normal or above normal. I want this to be, I want 
OBS to be the highest priority. So that's why I leave mine at high. If your computer can handle it, great. If not, then choose whatever is best for your computer. Um, and then the other good things is having the color format at NV12, the color space at 709, and the color range at full. I'm pretty sure those aren't default. Make sure you change that stuff. But yeah, that kind of stuff has really helped my streams out and these settings out with this new OBS update. If you guys are having trouble with frame rate issues on your games, check out the last video. It's going to be in the description box down below. I did a bunch of stuff to help you with that with Apex and whatnot. Um, feel free to sub to this, uh, the channel if you feel like it. Uh, like I said, watch the Twitch streams too if you feel like it too. All the stuff's in the links box down below. If this video helped, leave a like. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys next time.